the basketball courts in there, you know, a lot of these teams could have a place to go and practice and get home at a decent hour. You know, it's, it's tough when you got a sixth grade girl that's going to basketball practice until 8.30 or 9 o'clock at night, and then she's got to come home and get homework done and stuff like that. So that's one, one thing um, that I think would be very beneficial to the community and for the athletes in the community um, is they would, we would have more facility for those teams to actually practice and get the time in earlier in the day. But it, also, the citizens, uh, we do need a larger rec facility uh, just for, for wellness. Um, everybody getting out and exercising, going for a swim, running around a, an indoor track, <coughs> a weight room, um, all of those things would be very beneficial to the community. Like Tammy said, um, you know, the involvement from city council, I think as you hear, I mean, we're all for it, um, but once again, how is it going to happen? I mean, at this point in time, the city of Benton, I mean, we, we can't afford to just go build a, a $3 million rec center. So it's going to take a lot of group, um, a lot of groups working together to make something like this happen. To add to what Zach said, um, it, I, I wonder in the future, um, does the school get involved with something like this? Uh, you look at the programs that we have now, uh, currently I think we use part of Washington High School, we use the, the fitness equipment in there. If they have a program that they use. Um, so there it shows that we're still lacking the proper equipment at our one facility. Uh, the skating center, who would have thought the skating center would be used for so many other activities than just skating? Um, yeah, we're behind on that. Uh, we have a, a new park and rec director, and he's got a, a good, strong board and we're waiting for plans for them to bring forth to us so that we can uh, give, either give them marching orders or them go back and find out more answers and, and ask more questions because nobody really knows what the, the actual need is for a rec facility um, until we find out exactly what we should have. Um, City of Benton makes the widgets, you better be the best damn widget maker in the state. So you better have the best sports facility that people can come and see. And it will draw people in. I think it has to be in cooperation with the hospital, with the school. You know, we have six months out of the year athletes. Every other school we're competing with has 12 months out of the year athletes. We need something to help promote that. Not only does it help promote the athletes at school and stop some of the open enrollment from right now, it gives kids a positive place to go to and spend their time. It's just a better overall community thing. Can we afford it? I don't know if we can afford not to. And with the rec board, they'll come up with plans. We just gotta figure out how we're gonna fund it. And you got a great city administrator right now that somehow has a knack of finding money where it really shouldn't be. So. <laughs>
18 to 24 year olds coming through our community for 10 months at a time, twice a year. It is an absolutely amazing opportunity for our community to not only show off all the awesome things that we have, but to show them what Vinton can be and will be. I think that uh, the, it's been great to see how they have gotten involved in the community. I see them walking down the streets and shopping in our stores. They're an economic development uh, godsend, I think. Uh, what little money they do have, they spend downtown Vinton and at our gas stations. And I just love to see all of them in Vinton. What I hope is happening is that they are going back home all over the country and telling their friends and their family about the amazing 10 months that they had in our community. Because that, to me, is the greatest marketing that we can possibly do. And if we can attract just, I mean, say five of every class that comes through our community to come back to Vinton to live and start a family, maybe start a business. My sister-in-law actually was an AmeriCorps person uh, years ago, and she came back and she's now teaching at the high school. Uh, she's married to my brother. She's teaching as a math teacher at the high school, and they're starting a family here in Vinton. Um, not to start rumors that they're pregnant. They have not started a family yet. So, um, <laughs> but they came back to Vincent, and it, it, the connection started literally with AmeriCorps. So uh, I say if we lose them, we shot ourselves in the foot. So. Does AmeriCorps, what they mean to Benton and me, you know, after the flood, that's about when they were fired up and started in, in town here, and they were out doing things. It, it was amazing. And they've got great people that work there. I know that some of the staff there, and they're fantastic. They seem like they're very high quality people that are coming through our town. Um, I've talked to a few of them. They always say thank you. You know, it's it's incredible. And for a bit to lose something like that would just be a tragedy. AmeriCorps is just one more way that Vinton got put on the map. Um, <coughs> on, a, on a very much higher federal level, we are on the map. And <coughs> I think that's crucial. I think it's it's it would be irresponsible of the federal government to close a facility should that ever even be discussed again. Um, just because it is the perfect facility, um, we've had opportunity over the past eight nine years to get to know some of the members personally and develop some relationships that way. And the uniqueness in their personalities that drives them to want to be the volunteers that they are is standout. And I know Zach will have a ton of stories as well, but um, they are crucial to Vinton. They are crucial to, to keeping our citizens aware of, of other places in the world because when they are here, when they're out shopping, everybody strikes up conversation because it's, they're easy to identify. They have their uniform. Everyone strikes up conversations. So we learn from them, and they learn from us, and that's a win-win. Um, AmeriCorps, uh, I have had the absolute pri privilege of working with probably over 20 teams. Um, every year, I, I actually um, I fill out the paperwork and request a team to come work with my department. Um, Sometimes we get them, sometimes we don't. Um, like everybody said, they're from all over the country. And um, just this last spring, I applied for a team, um, and, I, and Benton County Conservation was lucky enough to get that team for a little over a month. 
there was 10, 10 individuals on that team, um, and the amount of work that we got done uh, with those 10 individuals in a month's time, it would, it, it would just blow your mind. And um, that's one valuable asset that they bring to the community is that any nonprofit organization can apply uh, to have a team come work for them. And the amount of work that is done, I mean, it's, it's, it's free labor. If you went up to AmeriCorps uh, right now and asked them, what do you think of Zach Parmeter? They, I hate him. He works <laughs> us too hard. No, but, and the teams, when they come in, not all of them stay in the community. They go, they go all over the Midwest. Um, but it is nice to get a team and keep them locally. And I've had the opportunity of working with FEMA Corps. Uh, as well as AmeriCorps. Uh, the flash floods of 2013, uh, I worked with a FEMA Corps team on the bike trail, um, which had damage from the flash flooding. Uh, and the other really, really nice thing about having them in this community is between projects, they come back to their, their central location, and they're always putting feelers out into the community saying, hey, we've got teams back right now. Can you take two or three teams for a couple days? Um, which is really nice, and I've, uh, we've, I've created a really good working relationship with them, and I think it's only going to help benefit uh, not only the city of Benton, but also Benton County. I haven't really had an opportunity to work with any of these individuals, but I do know that when I'm out in the, in the community, I've never heard anything bad about any of the kids, which I think is a great thing. Um, the stories they hear about how they help individuals 